In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add code to your Shopify theme theme liquid file. Whether you're looking to make a small tweak or implement a significant customization, adding code to your Shopify store's theme file is a critical step in personalizing your online storefront. So let's walk through each step together to ensure you can do this seamlessly. To begin, you'll want to navigate to your Shopify admin page. This is your main dashboard where you manage all aspects of your Shopify store. Once you're there, locate and click on the Online Store tab in the left-hand menu. The Online Store section provides access to themes, blog posts, and pages. It's a powerful hub where you can make various modifications to your site's appearance and functionality. Once you've clicked on Online Store, you'll see the Themes page. Here, you'll be able to view your current theme and any other themes you've previously installed. Look for the Actions drop-down menu. This is typically located on the right side of the main theme you're using. Clicking this drop-down menu reveals several options. You'll want to select Edit Code from this list. Now that you've hit Edit Code, you're entering the code editor where all your theme files are located. It might seem a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry. On the left-hand side, you'll notice a list of different folders such as Layout, Templates, Sections, and Assets, each containing different file types. For this particular task, look for the Layout folder and expand it by clicking the small arrow next to it. Here you'll find a file named theme.liquid. This is a crucial part of your theme structure where you can add global elements like scripts or meta tags that need to appear on every page of your site. Go ahead and click on theme.liquid. Upon opening this file, you'll see existing lines of code. Be careful with this area as changes impact your entire store. When adding your unique code, double check its placement to ensure it integrates smoothly with existing code. Depending on what you're adding, you might place it before, within, or after certain tags. Just be sure that you don't disrupt anything crucial. Once your code is in place, don't forget to hit the Save button at the top right of the page. Saving your changes is essential for any new code to take effect on your store. After saving, it's a good idea to preview your store to make sure everything appears as expected. And that's it! You're now ready to customize the theme.liquid file to meet your shop's specific needs. Remember, if things don't work as planned, uh, you can always revert to previous versions using Shopify's built-in version control. Thanks for tuning in and happy coding!